It's time to turn things up a little bit and tune in the most aggressive burbles on my G82 M4. We're going to make the M4 a lot more rowdier today because at the moment this car hasn't got burbles at all when we're upshifting, downshifting, revving and it's kind of a little bit boring. And I thought to myself, if I'm going to turn up the burbles, why don't I just max them out completely and just see how it sounds on the M4? I know that the burbles are going to be stupidly loud, but it's going to be nice to see how Asbo we can make this M4. It might sound good, it might sound bad, I don't know, but we'll see I guess. As some of you guys know from our previous video, the M4 is now unlocked and tuned via MHD, which gives us the ability to jump inside the car's ECU and basically adjust a bunch of things. You can adjust your cold start, your burbles, and a bunch of other things. But obviously in today's video, we're going to jump in the car and max out the burbles and see how stupid we can make this car sound. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is turn the car on, I'm going to let it warm up, and then I'm going to put my GoPro on and we'll go for a drive, just so I can show you guys how the car sounds right now, because it actually sounds really, really good, but it's missing a little bit of extra spice. We need some burbles, all right? As you can hear, the car doesn't have a cold start anymore. All you can hear is the idle. It sounds so, so good. And in terms of exhaust setup, I've got a full Valvetronic exhaust. It's the equal length system. And then I've got like some stage two bolt-ons. And if we open the bonnet, for some of you that don't know, we've also got some intakes. These are the intakes from Ram Air. And these things sound incredible when I'm driving. And obviously, as this is a Valvetronic, we can literally open and shut the valves whenever we want. Look, this is valves closed. And now this is valves open. Listen to that difference. This thing is honestly one of the best mods that I've ever done to this M4. But for now, let's uh, open up the valves again. Beautiful. Right, GoPro is on. So let me show you how this car sounds. We're in M2 right now. So let me just downshift a second. Listen to this. <laughs> the car sounds really, really good, but it's just missing that extra burbleness that's that's the only thing we need and obviously i thought to myself let's just turn it all the way up and just see how aggressive we can make this car sound i just love how raspy this car is as well listen to this sounds really really nice and even like the gear changes the gear changes are so loud listen to this let's do a little pull through the tunnel Yeah, this, this car is like ridiculously loud. It's stupidly loud and I, I love it. And obviously with the valve tronic, we can open and close the valves, which is uh, nice. But remember how this car sounds right now, because in a few minutes, we're gonna turn up the burbles and go on another drive and just see how much better it sounds. Right, you've heard the car driving now. Let me put you guys down and I'll give you a few revs just so you can hear how the car sounds before we tune in the burbles. <laughs> doesn't sound good this thing sounds incredible and it's probably going to sound a lot better in a minute too with some burbles it might be a bit over the top though we'll see anyway let's jump into getting the car tuned or adjusting the burbles for this all you need is the mhd wireless adapter and the wireless adapter just plugs into your obd port somewhere here if i can find it right it plugs in just here and when it's plugged in it'll start flashing then i just need to put my seat belt on so the car doesn't turn off when i'm tuning the car the seatbelt being plugged in basically tells the car, do not turn off. You don't need to turn off because the driver's inside, I think. Then we need to put the car in diagnostics mode by clicking this three times. So one, two, three. The car would then turn on. And then after a few seconds, it should say diagnostics mode right in the dash. So you can see diagnostics mode active. Now I just need to jump on my phone. And when you're on your phone, make sure you're in airplane mode with do not disturb on and then your Wi-Fi is on. Next, we just need to connect to the Wi-Fi dongle. So go to Wi-Fi. Mine already connects, so it's the MHD Enet. And then also remember to turn off your Apple CarPlay. This is very, very important. Now that's done and we're all connected to the MHD adapter, we just need to go into the MHD app. And within the MHD app, all you have to do is click flash an MHD map and the phone will basically set up a connection with your OBD reader. And we want to go into our current map, which is the stage two. And then what we want to do is click on uh, options. And here we've got a bunch of options that we can customize, but we don't care about anything right now other than the exhaust burbles. So for some reason it's set to medium, but there's no burbles. So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna set the um, burble type to hard and then click done. 
and now you can see the bird was a hard we've got them set for 1.3 seconds actually i'm going to turn that up a little bit i've put on 1.5 second duration and then in comfort it's set to 0 0.3 because i don't want bird in comfort minimum rpm is zero max rpm is 7000 and yeah that is literally all we need to do then we just back out the menu and click long right and then the map will basically flash to the car it says preparing map file tuning has begun i guess you'll get a bunch of errors you can see i've got a cross traffic warning driving stabilization stabilization drivetrain fault this is completely normal if you're doing this don't panic this is normal because uh basically the ecu loses connection to the car so the car kind of freaks out a little bit so this is fine as you can see it's done it's on 100 percent it's just clearing the codes and you can see success wait 30 seconds the right time was only 10 seconds like this stuff is instant tuning your car with mhd is honestly so simple i had it on my last 540 which had a b58 and the customization that you can do is insane um but yeah i've got to wait 30 seconds now and then we can start the car i guess all right let's see if the car turns on there we go we're all good we do have a check engine light this isn't good but this is completely normal every time i make any adjustments or any tunes on this car i always get this check engine light so to clear this off all i have to do is yet again connect to the mhd adapter that's plugged into my car go on the mhd app and then all i need to do is go on codes and read the dme codes oh sorry you can't really see that and then once we're in there all we want to do is just clear the codes and there we go all the codes are gone the engine light is off so good stuff now what i'm gonna do is let the car settle for like a minute or two and then i'll do a few revs and hear how these aggressive verbal sound i know that this is gonna sound absolutely ridiculous <laughs> That is just way too loud. Way, 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 way too loud. Right, you heard the rev, so let's see how this car sounds with the burbles on when I'm driving. I'm really excited to hear this. Listen to this. <laughs> what? Boy, this thing sounds mad. <laughs> I can feel the burbles like vibrating the underside of my foot and I can feel it in my bum. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. This thing is so loud. The burbles, the burbles are way too much, but it's fun. <laughs> Boy, it literally sounds like an AK-47. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> Even like the low end burbles. They're so loud still. Damn. <laughs> I can literally feel the burbles on the bottom of the floor vibrating. This is stupid. This really is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i can't believe how loud the burbles are on this car it literally sounds like an ak-47 and trust me in person this car sounds 10 times louder than what you're hearing it and i'm not gonna lie i feel like the burbles are a little bit too much they're a little bit <laughs> embarrassing i feel like whenever i'm driving and the burbles are on I, f I feel like um i'm looking for attention where i'm not but you know i'm probably gonna have to tone them down a little bit but if i'm going to a car meet it's kind of nice to have burbles this loud in a sense but for daily driving you don't you just don't need the car to pop and bang like that it literally sounds like a gun it is it's stupid but the real question is do you guys like burbles or no burbles i mean I, I like burbles don't get me wrong but not necessarily this loud i like them to sound kind of oem and more natural whereas these sound really forced but they do still sound really good and it's fun driving the car when it's <laughs> that stupidly loud anyway guys this is the end of the video if you guys enjoyed watching it Give it a like, give it a comment because it helps me out. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.